Hey there guys, John Gaming YT here and welcome back to my FIFA 15 <laughs> Watford Road to Glory. Now, last episode we began this season. Uh, we brought in some really good players. I brought in Francis Cochlan, if we just quickly go to the team here. Uh, we brought in Peony Sisto, Francis Cochlan and Johnny Evans. We also made some offers for Barini and who was the other one? Um Adrian. However, we were quite we were quite long with funds, and I did ask the board if they could let, give me some money. They said they couldn't because it was a bit excessive. Um, off camera, I did go in and ask if I could have at least ten million. So I went to hear back from them. Uh, just going through the squad now, see if there was anyone else that we did bring in. I don't think there was. No, there wasn't. But now we've got a game in the Community Shield against Arsenal. Sisto, Cochrane, and Evans will be making their debut in that in that game, so hopefully we can win it, and it'll be a nice way to start the season. Right then, guys, so we're back in the Community Shield. We were here last time. We played against Chelsea, and we lost it, unfortunately. This time, we are up against Arsenal, who won the FA Cup. We obviously won the Premier League, so that's why we're in the Community Shield once again, hoping to try and win it this time. And if we can't, then there's bound to be plenty of other opportunities to try and win it. Let's have a look at the lineup. So a pretty solid lineup. Gabriel Koscielny at the back. Uh, obviously they've got Benzema up front. Alexis on the left. Walker on the right. Casola playing at uh, Cam. Wilshire and Ramsey in the holding roles. And as you can see, Cochrane is up against his former club. Johnny Evans also starts. And we also got Sisto playing on the right hand side. So let's get into this game and see how the new boys play. Oh. Oh, Abdi! I know. I thought that was gonna go wide. <laughs> Holy shit! Shout down that left-hand side was being hassled by Debushi. And how's he scored that? I have no idea. That's a nice header. Don't know what Kashoni was doing, <laughs> but that is a super header. Wait, how do you do that? <laughs> oh well. One nil up in the Community Shield. Something we didn't do against Chelsea. Ooh, free kick. Who's the best free kick taker? Schmidt. Have to be Schmidt. Oh, it's superb. It's an outstanding free kick. It's 2 0 against Arsenal. What a free kick. What a free kick. He actually hit the crossbar, but I don't care. He's still winning. Well, I've shown his reach. 2 0. We, we could be winning the Community Shield, and it'll be our third piece of silverware. Having already won the FA Cup and the Premier League. And that is half time, guys. We are currently winning by two goals to nil. Thanks to goals from Almond Abdi and Juan Schmidt. Arsenal haven't really threatened in this game, but I'm pretty sure in the second half they will do. But we've just got to be strong and be, the, well, not defensive, but just make sure we can win this. It's Next goal is crucial. If we score, it's game over. If they score, it's game on. So let's hope we can stick to our guns and win this game. What a tackle that was. I was so concerned on that. That's why I didn't say anything. But that was a superb tackle by, I think it was Belkelem. And that is full time, guys. We have won the Community Shield with a 2-0 victory over Arsenal. Thanks to Shao Schmidt and Alman Abdi getting the goals. Arsenal never really threatened, to be honest. They had one or two shots here and there. The second half was a bit dire. It wasn't as good as the first half. I know it's a fantastic start to the season. You know we're going to be I'm sure we're going to have confidence going into the game against Manchester United. And that's the that's the yellow and black confetti falls. Um, who's going to be lifting the trophy? Well, Shield. Is it Cochrane? So I think he was captain for today, but then I don't know. Who's lifting the trophy? It might be Cochrane. I don't. I don't actually know. Uh, let's have a look. Not Lyon. Where is he? Who is it? Is it Belkenham? Who is it? 
might actually be Belkin, but no, it's um, Lion. I think it was Lion who, li who lifts it up. And <laughs> look at those graphics, they're so bad. This is on Xbox 360, so that's why the graphics are a little bit diabolical. But it does matter, we've won the Community Shield. Let's try and see if we can find a way to try and get Adrian and Barini at Watford. I think it's going to be quite difficult. Right, so the board have said they can't grant me the 5 million, but they will give me 3.25 million pounds. It's good, I mean, it's some money, but not going to be enough to make, to bring in Adrian or Barini. Right, so I have a transfer offer here. This is for Alman Abdi. Remember, he is one of the players that I'm looking to sell because he is starting to decline. 2.3 million from Everton is worth 3 million, so I would like at least 3.5. That's gonna boost them just a, that's gonna boost the transfer budget up a little bit, which means it's enough to bring in either Barini or Adrian. But I think I'm running out of time to do so. Uh, we've got a game against Manchester United. I am going to sim this game. I know I'm probably gonna lose this, but I wanna get these transfers try and get these transfers in to strengthen the score because I don't think ball rate's gonna be good enough to help us win the Champions League so that's why I want to go for Barini to sim this game and see what happens I know I should be playing this but I really want to get the transfers done so okay I won or draw I will happily take that shall get in our goal and also getting sent off so we were lucky to only lose it by one goal to uh, not lose by we were lucky to get a point on opening day of the season Good start to season. I would, ha I would like I said, I would have taken a one or draw against Manchester United. And let's see what happens with Abdi and hopefully get some more transfers. So Everton have decided they'll only go to 2.8. What's that boost up to? Okay, if I accept it, I should have enough money to bring in one of the two players. So that's what I'm going to do. Maybe try to squeeze, squeeze out a little bit more, maybe. 3.2 that should be enough I just want to have some more transfer funds and some on the budget and obviously Joe has been suspended right so Everton have decided they will match the 3.2 counter offer that I gave them so that's a fan that's fantastic that's going to be more money into wages and more money into transfer budget which means Adrian or Barini will be ours I'm thinking of going for Adrian but I think I may need to put in a brand new offer because I think the offer might have expired. We have another transfer for here. This is for to Tommy Hoburn. He's going to Blackburn on loan. Again, more on the wages, which is absolutely crucial. Not transfer budget, but it does matter. Well, it does matter, but it's still good. And Abdi's gone to Everton for 2.7, well, for 3.2 million. We got 2.7 on the wages, which means now I'm going to go in and I'm going to get Adrian because I need a def uh, goalkeeper. If I get any more offers in, and it matches to what, matches to how much I want to pay for Barini, I'll go in and get Barini. But Adrian, I'm coming for you. Right. So like I said, the offer did expire. We, I didn't pull out. Obviously, you have a certain amount of time to confirm the deal. Unfortunately, because of our um, lack of funds, I have, I was unsuccessful. But I'm gonna put in a brand new offer. Same offer I'm going to give them. Oh no, okay, so I just need to put in a uh, contract offer, so that's fine. I don't need to worry about the transfer fine. It's just a brand new contract offer, which is absolutely brilliant. I was a bit worried that I may have to go in and get put in another offer. But now we have a game at home to Fulham. This is in the Barclays Premier League. Obviously, we have lost a couple of um, Abdi to um, Everton, so that's why he's not in this team. And we get a 2-1 victory. Barker came in because uh, Shao was injured. Taylor came on and got a goal. That's one of our, that's one of our youngsters, um, Lewis Taylor. He came on and got a goal, and it's a brilliant 2-1 victory. Now, looking at the squad, I am very, very short on players. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to look around Look at the team, see what I need to improve. I'm bringing, maybe I'm bringing some players on loan to boost the numbers up. 
that's a good victory. 2 1. Happy to take it. And this is the T, the group stage. This is our group in the Champions League. We've got Borussia Dortmund, SC Porto, and FC 20. Holy shit. We could be knocked out of the group stage here, but. You know, that's a really tough group. That is a really tough group. And oh, Belkalum wants more wages. Not what I need right now, Belkalum. But that is it then, guys, for this episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. And if so, please do leave a like. Please subscribe as well. In the next episode, we've got the game against Newcastle again, which will be steamed. Just in case there's some more transfer dealings that's, that are likely to happen. I mean, a good start to season. We've won one and drawn one. We're currently in 10th place. 11 on points with Arsenal, Swansea and Southampton. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And if so, please do leave a like. Please subscribe as well. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, lads. Peace.